day is it? Five? Six? Um, it is day six. Welcome to day six of Gencom. We slept in today. It is Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. It's uh, Tuesday at the Gen Con. I slept an incredible in 8.30. Why did you only sleep till 9 a.m.? Uh, I just kind of woke up. Why? And then there was food, so I went and got it. Derek went to get breakfast from the hotel, and he came back with coffee for me. Look. And it's still a little warm. It's so cute. So right now, we're packing up a little bit. We got a late checkout at 1 a.m., 1 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we're packing up. And uh, then we are going to go get some food at Pad Chow, I think, or Chaco Bell. Seems like a weird mix. And uh, then we'll make our way to the airport. I guess, and we'll head home. It's gonna be kind of a weird short vlog, I bet. I'm sure Derek and I will think of some fun things to say. And if you have questions and they are in my comments, we will look at them and answer them. And that's it. I will take you along with me today. Miles the other way. He put us off by much. It won't be seen for sure. Brady met that we like to listen, we, Derek and I have been listening to Brandon Sanderson. Is he the dead one? Robert Jordan's the dead one. We've been listening to Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time for like five years now. And we are on like, I don't know, the fourth last book, I think, or something like that. And we've are been we listening. Are we that far? Yeah, there's only like four or five books left. But they're the beefiest ones. They're like 40 hours of listening, one full work week. And we've been listening to these books for a long time, so um whenever we're together just hanging out we like to put it on and i don't know maybe this gen con we can make it through a good chunk of twilight crossroads of a twilight of twilight so we get uh, two more things that i found while packing that i didn't show off that i got at the show i got the together breakfast tea oh ooh, there you go and it is themed after the together breakfast from steven universe i think it's like in the first episode and it's when he makes like pancakes and waffles with whipped cream and sprinkles and maple syrup and all sorts of things on it. And he calls it together breakfast. And I thought that was really cute and it sounds like it could be a delicious tea. So we're gonna try this when we get home. And then Matt gave me a brain in a jar, which he is cosplay this year with the Mind Flare. So very appropriate. Thank you, Matt. I really love it. And I think it's a very silly, fun little gift. I appreciate you. Derek is putting together our snackle box for the airplane. Mm -hmm. What are you excited about? What's in here? Well, we have flaming hot Cheetos. Okay. We've got flaming hot Cheetos, Jolly Ranchers, Reese's Pieces, Triscuits, assorted fun-sized candy bars, mysterious jerky. Sorry, Derek. Okay. And then our leftover stuff from the flight. Oh, anything else going in? Uh, goldfish. Mm-hmm. And I think everything else like these are just not going to fit. Yeah, it's cute. Same thing that you got me yesterday, the broken yolk sandwich. Show, except uh, you got it with ham, and now I'm getting it with bacon. So what are you getting? A broken yolk sandwich, uh, and I got a hot chocolate. And Did you just an get it the regular way, or on bacon. sourdough or anything? Oh, an English waffle. And freshly squeezed OJ, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the, I got OJ, and I'm getting the broken yolk uh, avocado sandwich on sourdough with a side of cinnamon toast. It's very good. The cinnamon toast is kind of what they're known for, so I recommend trying it.
Your glasses are so weird. Why? They just keep changing. Yeah. That's what they're supposed to do. If they don't change, how can they do this? I don't like it. They freak me out. I will say that this dress worked out really well for me. This convention, I have three of them, four of them, three of them. And they have big pockets, like really big ones. They are made of a linen cotton blend, I think. So they're cooling and light and they're kind of baggy and loose. So they are comfortable. And I think I have three or four of them. I have a black one and a denim one in this one. And they worked out perfect for the convention. And I think they have like four other colors. So I might just pick up one of each. They're on Amazon. I don't remember. I think I just like typed in denim dress with pockets or something. And this is the first one that popped up. I think the brand is Mini B. So I think I'm going to get more because they worked out so good. Skywalker, Anakin, A is in Anakin Skywalker. And B? Uh, B is in Jar Jar Binks. What's the C gonna be? I mean, I would say Coruscant, but I'm Calderon? pretty sure she's. Calderon? What? Calderon? Isn't that a planet? Yeah, but that's, that's A. The next what? one is gonna be C. Yeah, I said C. Calderon. Oh no, Alderon is a planet. Uh, Coruscant is a planet. C for. Chewy. Chewbacca. No, I bet she's gonna say C for have you seen the movie? D for Dark Side of the Force. Darth Vader? Sure. And E. For everyone else is gonna only goddamn plan amount of ideas. Group C is in Chewbacca and Count Zoom. I love her. She's excellent. Let's go to Count Dookie. Here you go. Group D's and Judge Vader. Group D, you're all on board. Group E, as in Echo. Group E, you're on board. Aww. We were Group E walk. See you in a little bit. Um, it is, what day is it? Wednesday? Yeah. And we got home last night at like 8 p.m. McGriddle is also here. She's sunbathing. I need to put the laundry on. This is uh, Wolvie. And this is Derek. Did you have fun? We got home safe and alive. And not sick. That's true. I think that it's kind of a miracle we didn't get sick. Thank you for masks. Mm -hmm. And I guess immune system. Well, probably the, the vaccine that we got. And... 
Yeah, we got our booster, booster shots and, and stuff. Yeah. Christmas or whatever with the full booster. Yeah. Overall, um, I guess some feedback I've been hearing about Gen Con is that despite the numbers being what similar or maybe a little bigger than last year, yeah, the, it was, it was the show year. felt less intensely crowded as it had last year. Mm -hmm. And I think I agree mostly except for certain times in the exhibitor hall where it felt about the same and very tight. And I think most people, most experiences that I've heard about have been extremely positive and excited to return next year and um, just general excitement for friendship and family and mm -hmm. games. What do you, how do you feel about the show? Uh, a lot of people had a lot of fun. It was great. Um, that's gratifying. Uh, I'm just sorry for my team that that were ill and couldn't couldn't come down to work, couldn't see the fruits of their labor. Yeah, because uh, it must always, be hard. To... Yeah, yeah. It's always it's really hard to work all year and then not be there to see it, and then not even be able to go do anything. And because they're just on radio and on on Slack or whatever. They only heard about the stuff that went wrong. It's a tough time to get through, basically, because you're only getting the downside of everything and you don't even get to see it for yourself. I'm really glad that Marion got to see the gnomes. Yep. I think that gave us a lot of joy and her a lot of joy, and that mm -hmm. was those were really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I wasn't able to do this year. This is the first time, I think, in 20-something years that I wasn't actually able to walk the exhibit hall at all. I went in to see a couple specific people or, or find a couple specific things, and that's it. Um, and normally I'm able to do a, the full circuit of the exhibit hall, and it only takes me like four hours or something like that. Uh, yeah, you do it in pieces, I think. Yeah, but like I'd usually do it in like two to three stretches of like an hour or two each, because I do it very quickly. I just didn't even have time for that because it, it was just such a crush this year. Yeah. What are you doing now to relax? Or what's happening in the next few days, I guess, for you? Um, mostly just probably lots of naps because uh, I still was waking up at like, I don't know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. So it'll take a few days for that to wear off. Uh, we're playing some video games. What are we starting? We are playing Dungeons of Hinterburg, which is about like a lawyer who is kind of frustrated with her career. So she goes to a dungeon resort in the Alps where they have 25 magical dungeons. And you like, you meet some guy who has a TV show about being an adventurer. And, and so far it's very cute. Do you have any hopes and wishes for next year or any messages to people that are back at home and have to wait a whole year i wish if i could if i could get people who attended gen con to do one thing uh -oh. it would be to reach out to the people who ran events they played in and let them know what they liked about it or what they'd like to see in the future or things like that because a lot of people put a lot of effort into their plans for gen con and it's great when somebody says I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Or, that was great, but I'd love to see this other game next year, or more of this, or I'd love to help you. Um, do you need help running more games? Things like that really, I think, tickle uh, a lot of the event organizers. Sounds good. It's good to be home. It's sad to be home now. I just, I feel like... All of my friends were at, at my fingertips for like, a f you know, five days or something. And now they're not. Now everybody's back at work and I'm going back to work tomorrow. I took today off to relax and reacclimate to being home again. And I get sad, really sad after Gen Con. So I wanted an extra day um, to try to decompress a little bit. I get really anxious about work sometimes and it can really get to me. So the extra day I'm hoping can kind of help me ease back into normal life. And I really liked what Derek said, giving feedback. To, to event organizers. or My advice for right now is stay in touch with the people that you miss from Gen Con, right? Uh, you know, creep up with those group chats or DM the people and, and keep those conversations going with the people that you love. Maybe make some plans for next year, figure out what cosplay you're gonna do with them. Or if you really enjoyed like some of the stuff, like um, the trinket trading stuff, like 
little tchotchkes and, and, and bracelets, maybe make a plan for, are you going to make something next year to give away those types of things? Um, I always feel like trying to keep Gen Con alive a little longer and continuing to be engaged with it eases the transition back out of it because we get so excited and the hype up period is so long, right? We can buy our badges in what, December, November? Hotel is usually January, February. Event catalog comes out March, April. I'm just making this stuff up at this point. <laughs> you know, the, the lead up to Gen Con is so long and the drop off seems so sudden and fast. So I like to continue thinking about Gen Con in like some sort of planning way right after it ends. And that's planning cosplays or what went well this year that I want to keep doing next year or do differently next year. Um, continue chatting with friends who's coming, who's not coming. I don't know, doing, and then maybe planning some videos. That's what I've been doing. That's really been helping me ease back into, transition back into normal life because it can be really sad and I'm going to be sad for a couple of weeks probably. Making these videos has given me a lot of joy and I wish I hadn't had those technical difficulties starting Saturday because it stretched out my release period. But this is going to be the final video for Gen Con 2024. I've got some fun videos planned for the future. Let me know if there's a specific um, more focused topic video you'd like to see. I could add that to my strategy and my content strategy. Derek's helping me solve my tech issues for next year. And um, I hope everybody had a great show. I want to hear all about it in the comments. And Derek, you want to do my outro for one last time? Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. How'd that work out? Great, excellent. No notes. Bye. Love you guys.